Well, here we are, and the steel metal building has just arrived. So, man, there's a lot of stuff on that truck. So, hmm, they're gonna take it down the driveway, and the building pad is way in the back of the lot over there. So this rented forklift here is gonna piece by piece take this off and put it where it belongs. That's what you call red iron steel. Solid. All right, so let's get this building checked in and then we'll get a glimpse of what it's like taking it down the dirt road. A lot of stuff. Well, here comes the first bit of the building coming off the truck. It's gonna lift up all these beams a little at a time. It's gonna put them back in the lot somewhere safe. I thought it was actually gonna be much heavier than that. So this looks pretty good. That's not too bad. They can at least lift it. Not too shabby. Those are the panels on the bottom. Boy, they stack really thin. They stack really thin. Well, this is a bit challenging because now it's raining and uh, these guys are trying to get these really long beams back in here off the truck and get them somewhere where it's not water. It's water everywhere. They're doing the best they can with it. The ground is too mushy in there for that machine to go in there with all that iron weight. So let's see how he does. Well, there's not a lot you can do when it's raining other than work in it. So we're all out here getting soaked. I figure there's no sense in me getting soaked, even though I'm already wet. But the umbrella just gives a place for the mosquitoes to hunt all underneath. So let's see how they make it out with uh, these last uh, bits of the steel building load. A lot of work unloading this. We're almost offloaded. When it comes to this thing, they have to swing the metal back and forth. And as you can see, all four wheels on this thing pivot when he turns it so he can get around trees and stuff. But uh, it's been, it's, it's a lot of work. But finally, we're down to where there's just uh, those beams that guy is standing on there. And uh, this set of panels, these panels here, oops. I guess he dropped it. These panels here are um, 30 feet long. Well, is that 30 feet? I don't know, maybe at least 25 feet long. It's pretty long. So we'll see what he's gonna do with those. So you can see what they gotta do here. They gotta twist it and torque it to get it around these trees because I wanted to keep my trees. So he's gonna manipulate the metal on the fork so he can get around it. Oh. He can push against the tree as long as he doesn't push it off the fork. Yep. Turn those wheels. There we go. It's cool, that thing could go sideways if I wanted to. Might be 30 feet long and then these shorter panels well 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 all right so Jerry was here with his machine and he uh, flattened all this out 
So uh, this is good. This brought the road up and uh, hopefully this shell rock will help flatten things out. A little rough, man. It's a little rough, but I think this, uh, this is gonna help make a difference. So, now how's, how's the mosquitoes today? Eh, they're still out, look. But there's water everywhere, so. Huh. Okay. All right, let's see how this goes. Hopefully this will be good enough.